Good morning. Our gallery hymn today will be number 430, 430, We Are the Light of the World, 430. Uh, gathering hymn number 430, We Are the Light of the World. Blessed are they who are poor in spirit, this is the kingdom of God. Bless us, O Lord, make us poor in spirit, bless us, O Lord, our God. We are the light of the world, may our light shine be Blessed are they who are meek and humble, they will inherit the earth. Blessed are they make us meek and humble, blessed is the Lord our God. We are the light of the world, may our light shine before In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. But our friends, in order to worthily celebrate this Mass, we call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, 
that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, whom from all things come, grant that we who call you in our need may our prompting discern what is right, and by your guidance do it through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the first book of Kings. The brook near where Elijah was hiding ran dry because no rain had fallen in the land. So the Lord said to Elijah, move on to Zarephath of Sidon and stay there. I have designated a widow there to provide for you. He left and went to Zarephath and he arrived at the entrance of the city a widow was gathering sticks there. He called out to her. Please bring me a small cupful of water to drink. She left to get it, and he called out to her. Please bring along a bit of bread. She answered, As the Lord your God lives, I have nothing baked. There is only a handful of flour in my jar and a little oil in my jug. Just now I was collecting a couple of sticks to go in and prepare something for myself and my son. When we have eaten it, we shall die. Elijah said to her, Do not be afraid. Go and do as you propose. But first, make me a little cake and bring it to me. Then you can prepare something for yourself and your son. For the Lord, the God of Israel, says, The jar of flour shall not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, until the day when the Lord sends rain upon the earth. She left and did as Elijah had said. She was able to eat for a year, and Elijah and her son as well. The jar of flour did not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, as the Lord had foretold through Elijah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your face shine upon us. Lord, let your face shine upon us. When I call, answer me, O my just God, you who relieve me when I am in distress. Have pity on me and hear my prayer. Men of rank, how long will you be dull of heart? Why do you love what is vain and seek after falsehood? Lord, let your face shine upon us. Know that the Lord does wonders for his faithful one. The Lord will hear me when I call upon him. Tremble and sin not. Reflect upon your beds in silence. Lord, let your face shine upon us. O oh Lord, let the light of your countenance shine upon us. You put gladness into my heart, more than when grain and wine abound. Lord, let your face shine upon us. Alleluia, Alleluia, <coughs> Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? 
It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trembled under foot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on the lampstand where it gives light to all the house. Just so your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Your light might shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. We have now shifted to the ordinary time and most of the themes of what we are reflecting on this season is the public ministry of our Lord Jesus. As we all know that Jesus is not just an excellent preacher, but he preaches in a manner of his duty as a son of God. And thus his preaching is the fruit of what is his reflection and discernment about his interior self. It is a fruit of what he learns and what has been revealed to him by his father. Not the other Jews who would just preach and interpret nor translate what is on the law or what is on the covenant. But Jesus himself, his preaching is a fruit of his interior discernment of what the father wants him to tell to the rest of the disciples. No wonder that the preaching of Jesus today talks about the light that must be radiated for all. And this is how would Jesus give his disciples the certain enlightenment. They need to become the witness before others. They need also to proclaim what they have heard. They need to make witness on what Jesus himself has revealed them. And thus for all of us today in our church, may our church continue to also guide us with a Holy Spirit that we may be carriers of this same light from the Lord Jesus. As we are also inspired by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the virtue of our baptism, the power of God's light continue to unfold in us and allow ourselves to take up this role. Salt and light are the basic needs of human beings. When Jesus compared his disciples to salt and light, he emphasized their importance and mission to the world. Let us pray that we may respond to the challenge to be salt and light of the world. Lord, let us be like salt that purifies and preserves. May we prevent the corruption and decay of human values due to selfishness, indifference, and rejection. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us be like salt that gives flavor May we give flavor to life by our solidarity, friendship, and joyful service to others. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us be like a city set on a mountain. May we be a firm support to others in moments of doubt, fear, trials, and temptations. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us be light of a lamp set on a lampstand. May we counsel the doubtful admonish sinners, comfort the afflicted, and bear patiently with those who do us ill. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us be light that shines before others. May we direct others not to our own selves, but to you alone is the source of all blessings. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Charles Donaldson, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the names and petitions written in our book of prayers, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Silently we present our petitions to the Lord. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us also include our seminarian, Charles Palmer, who celebrates his birthday today. We pray to the Lord. Almighty Father, Jesus, your Son, is the light of the world and conqueror of death. Have us imitate him to do good for your glory and our salvation. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Our offertory hymn will be number 546. 546, see us, Lord, about your altar. See us, Lord, about your water, though so many we are one. Many souls by love you united in the heart of Christ, your Son. Here Reverend may sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that we offer that we that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you, and lead us to grow in charity. To Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. In Him we have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself. And the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with all the angels and archangels, the thrones and the dominions, and all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory is without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in You are 
are indeed only O Lord and the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks and broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, a bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ to be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. To the rest, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await a blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the Lord Jesus Christ, he said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will even reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. She go to the sick and the homebound to get at all these sacraments we have celebrated, but as the word of God which we have heard, as well as the affection of this parish community, as for the prayers of those whom you have to visit in return, go now with God's peace and blessing.
Let us pray. May your healing work, Lord, free us, we pray, from the doing evil, and lead us to what is right, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered with the go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Our sending forth hymn will be number 430, We Are the Light of the World, verses 7 and 8. Blessed are they who bring peace among us, they are the children, children of God. God. Blessed, Blessed are the Lord, they, may your they peace be with us. Blessed is the Lord our God. We, we are the light of the world. May our light shine before all. That they may see the good that we do when you glory to God. Blessed is our suffer from persecution, this is the kingdom of God. Bless us, O Lord, when they persecute us, bless us, O Lord, our God. We are the light of the world, may our light shine before all, that they may see the good that we do and give glory to God. 